All right, we got the Frisco Bowl, Frisco, Texas. Marshall, Thundering Herd, UTSA Roadrunners. Uh, we've got um, UTSA eight and a half now up to nine and a half. I'm even seeing tens now, so the money's coming in on UTSA here. Uh, Fifty three and a half being the uh, total here in this game. You know, it probably sets up for UTSA uh, right now when you look at it to be um, kind of a celebration bowl game where. You know, you thought, you know, this team's totally disbanding, that you were probably going to lose your head coach, Jeff Trailer, And now that's not the case. Jeff Trailer sticking around here at UTSA and obviously coaching this bowl game, too. Um, and you look at the situation for UTSA, they're kind of taking on the uh, the, 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 the the makeup of their coach sticking around. Now, unfortunately, one of the, they have a couple opt outs. One's not that big of a deal because he hasn't played half the season. The other is huge, and that's Trey Moore, who is absolutely one of the better defensive players on this Roadrunners team. Um, so that will hurt UTSA. How much will it hurt, though? Because the good news for UTSA here is Marshall's offense stinks. Okay, this has been a horrendous offensive team much of the season. And now you look at Marshall's situation going into this bowl game. Cam Fancher is in the transfer portal. They're starting quarterback. So Cole Pennington, who doesn't have much experience, is going to start. And their offense, their best offensive lineman by far, Trent Holler, who is extremely experienced um, and is the glue for that O-line, he is in the transfer portal as well. So this is already a bad offense now with a backup quarterback and the starting center, who's all world for this team, missing for Marshall. Yeah, so their tight end's going to be out. Yep. It looks like Caleb Combs, he's going to be out. I, I don't know what they do here. Yeah. They're changing uh, offensive coordinators in the offseason. That's always a moving part. And more importantly, there's some real thought that it hasn't been announced, but it eventually will be. They're all world running back, Rasheen Ali. Uh, is also mm-hmm. not going to play in this bowl game for Marshall. And if that happens, even with UTSA missing, you know, one of their best defensive players, probably their best defensive player in uh, Trey Moore, is it really going to matter? Because how the hell do you trust Marshall to do anything offensively at this point? So uh, the betters are reacting. They know UTSA is harmony again. Uh, Jeff Trailer sticking around for the bowl game. The majority of their starters on offense and defense outside of Moore are playing, uh, which is good to see going into this uh, bowl game as well. And of course, Frank Harris, uh, as at least unless something changes, he'll, he'll be starting at quarterback for UTSA here. So I better see what I see, that Marshall to me is unbackable in this game. It's just a question of, do you want to lay this many with UTSA or not? What do you think here, Connor? Yeah, I think you do. I think this is a big one. You lay the number or look to UTSA's team total over and you know one thing Marshall can hang their hat on they're just missing the slew on the offense you rip through it is they've been pretty good defense all year long and you have to go through uh who's all going to be out there but UTSA this seems just like the game to win here for Harris the whole you know shouldn't they go out on top I'd also look with Marshall Cole Pennington came in a little bit with an offense that was already dreadful Zero touchdowns, six interceptions. <laughs> Chad Penny's in son, not doing great. I don't know what he does here. And I thought UTSA's defense was pretty good, especially a team like Marshall. They should hold him down. So I look on the other side to Marshall's team total under in this game and even the full game under. You don't see a ton. I know Marshall got into like a shootout or two uh, during the year, but for the most part, if they can't move the ball, uh, I don't think even the full game this goes over. I look under. Yeah, and uh, no doubt this is, um, you know, that's terrible, by the way, in the starting uh, game, in the games he started down the stretch for Marshall, for Cole Pennington, zero touchdowns, six interceptions. That's that's as bad as it gets as far as a TD to INT ratio. So that is definitely not what you want to see at the quarterback position, no question. 